Hey, this is a tip for MAME on how to get software list ROMs working. So your typical ROMs go in the ROMs folder in MAME. They're normally uh, zip archives for your typical games, or maybe you've got some CHD files like uh, California Chase there. So CHD is like a, usually a hard drive image or a CD-ROM, something like that. And they have their own folder and then the content in the folder. So if I go into, so what I've done, I've created a subfolder for my software list ROMs because if you put your software list ROMs in the ROMs folder they will be recognized by MAME but if you then use a tool like clear MAME Pro to filter your ROMs so whenever you get a new version of MAME you, you should be running clear MAME Pro something like that to make sure you have the right ROM set and that uses a DAT file and that DAT file will be specific to what you're checking and normally you're just checking your arcade ROMs and if you have your software list ROMs in the same folder, it will just remove them all. So what we do is I've created a folder called SL software list. You can call it whatever you want. And that's where I've put my software list ROMs. So I've separated them out from the main ROMs. And just like the um, main ROMs, you have kind of the same types of ROMs. So this Sega SG-1000 here has zip archives. So this is kind of its ROMs folder, but it's titled by the name of the system and here I've got some Mac hard drive images and they are CHD files so inside the system I then have my CHD folder names much like the ones in the ROMs folder and then the CHD file goes in there so if I whoops so if I go back into MAME if I just zoom out so the Macintosh Quadra there if I go into this, it won't launch the system. It will give me all the sub ROMs. So these are all the ones that are supported. Now I had those hard drive images. They're under system. So system 755 there. So I'm zooming up here. It's looking for the Mac H underscore HDD folder. That's your subsystem or your software list system, if you like. And then Mac 755 is that folder. And then whatever's contained in that, which is our CHD, is what will be used to run the system. So I'm just going to zoom out or come out of that and I'll show you. I think I already showed you, but I'll show you again. So software list, Mac HDD, Mac 755, and then the content, which in this case is this CHD file. They're not always named the same. Um, and to be sure you've got the right ROMs, so you normally use a DAT to check your arcade ROMs, but your software list ROMs don't have a DAT. But what you can do is open up ClearMain Pro and in the in MAMES folder, there's a hash folder. So let's say I want to check the Atari 2600 there. I'll drag that XML into uh, the profiler window of ClearMain Pro, and you should see the plus appear. If I let go, it's going to put it in the profiles folder. So I'll say OK, and it's new. So I'll go in the new DAT files, and there it is. So I can open that, choose default. And then from here, under settings, under ROM paths, that's where I add that path. To the folder we created so sl software list and then it will be the appropriate folder for the system which is probably a2600 something like that you'll know you should know that from the files that you have to work with it and then you can scan your um software list rom so you know they're going to work with the version of main that you've got and there's one other thing that i thought i'd just quickly cover so if i jump into main again so i'm going to boot this uh, Macintosh Quadra it runs pretty good so we'll go with 755 again and I'm going to pick the BIOS and it should start to launch so let's go through all of this it's a pretty good emulation of this at the minute I might actually do a video in more detail on how to get this working and how you can get games installed and things like that but that's a little bit more involved so that's for another day anyway <laughs> while this Mac is booting the thing you need to understand with the computers that run in MAME is you lo you'll lose all your shortcuts on your keyboard because your keyboard is then used to emulate the keyboard in the system. So if I press escape now, I can't get out of MacOS. I can't get out of MAME. Can't even use Alt-Tab, I don't think. However, if you press scroll lock on the keyboard, you should see this menu appear and then you can press Tab and get your usual MAME options. You could close the menu, you could select a new system that will take you back to the main menu, or you can just press escape and come out completely like that. So, and that's pretty much it. Your scroll lock key is usually in between your main keyboard and your numeric keypad if you've got a full size keyboard, or otherwise it might be hidden somewhere on your keyboard and you might need to press like the function key to enable it, but you'll have to check that on your keyboard.
Anyway, hopefully this tip has been useful to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to leave me a comment or if you'd like to subscribe, please do that. Thanks for watching.